Good afternoon, I am Bekir Ansari. I am a STEM and computer science teacher in Lisa Academy. I am also a master's student uh, in IT department at Arkansas Tech University. Today, I would like to share my research paper on the intersection of AI with social emotional learning uh, with the contribution of my supervisors, Jerry Wood and Tolga Ansari from Arkansas Tech University. As technology rapidly evolves, we are witnessing the profound impact of AI on the way how students learn and interact. My presentation explores how AI-powered platforms, particularly CodeMonkey, help students to understand how to regulate their social, social and emotional learnings. Let me start with acknowledging the big, the great need of um, integration of social emotional learning in the aftermath of COVID-19 pandemic. Social emotional uh, learning involves in regulating uh, the uh, emotions, self-awareness, empathy, and positive engagement, and building great relationship with the uh, people this uh, especially helps students to have a good social and um, successful um, job life in the future. With uh, traditional social emotional programs, we have made some strides, but they often fall short because traditional social emotional learnings cannot help students uh, improve them. At the same time, we see um, AI rapidly advancing in other areas of education, but somehow we cannot leverage it. If we use AI in self education, we can improve it. So my question is, can AI make social emotional education more scalable, more personalized, and ultimately more effective? This is a research gap I aim to address today. I assume that AI-powered platforms hold the key to unlocking potentials in social emotional instructions. Let's start with a quick comparison. Traditional social emotional methods rely heavily on human interaction. Teachers deliver instructions and offer guidance. While these instructions are valuable, research shows that traditional social emotional approaches are time consuming and lack consistency. Studies such as those by Darlach and colleagues in 2011 highlight the limitations of these methods, including resource intensive delivery and most qualitative assessment, and these assessments can be sometimes subjective. On the other hand, AI offers something that traditional methods cannot, the ability to personalize learning in real time and at scale. Recent, research, recent studies such as those by Peters and Johnson in 22 show the potential for AI to provide instant feedback, provide adaptive learning pathways, and even real-time emotional support through technologies like virtual reality, natural language processing. However, however as with, the, with any new technology, AI comes with their disadvantages such as cost barrier, staff training, and issues of unequal access. But, these, but despite these challenges, the research suggests that the benefits of AI in social emotional learning are worth further exploration. To grant this in a practical example, let's look at the code monkey closely. This platform actually is designed to teach uh, students coding. What is different is that this platform also offers some digital citizenship courses, which, have, which teaches students how to regulate their emotions, how to deal with stress and anxiety. This, this features make this digital program a great uh, case study where we can have some data how the students react in real life situations. Another standout feature of CodeMonkey is its gamification feature. By making learning interactive and fun, the platform encourages students to apply social emotional learning skills in real life scenarios, from managing emotions to navigating digital environment responsibly. 
Teachers also benefit from this platform because this platform provides real-time insights into students' progress, allowing for more targeted interventions. Um, also, we, um, when we look at these features, there are some room for some environment and advancement. Therefore, we suggest that the, the people who make this platform can apply more natural language processing. Uh, so this, this will help them to be more immersive. Also, AI-driven challenges that simulate real worst uh, social dilemmas like managing conflict or handling cyberbullying where students must use empathy and emotional intelligence to navigate the situation. This could foster deeper engagement with social emotional concepts. Another thing that we suggest is the implementation of AI driven progress tracking with behavioral analytics. The platform could monitor students emotional responses and social interactions in real time. This provides also teachers with immense feedback. Also, lessons are, can be customized to, uh, so each student have their own progress and they will get different uh, lessons according to their needs. Lastly, gamification. This element helps uh, students get personalized rewards. And researchers of DC and Ryan on motivational psychology suggest that dynamic personalized rewards can significantly improve students' outcomes, making social emotional learning both enjoyable and impactful. Of course, as we look forward to the future, we must also address the challenges and ethical considerations of integrating AI into cell. One major concern is accessibility. How do we ensure that everybody can access AI-powered social-emotional tools, especially those in underserved communities. Research shows that digital divide is a pressing issue, and this is something we cannot overlook. There are also another significant concern, which is ethical concern. It is very vital to keep student data private, especially it is social, emotional, and behavioral analytics we make sure that they are they will be safe um, this is the platform as you can see there are some courses that teaches coding but these digital courses shows how gamification help them to apply their social emotional learning in real life situations and i already mentioned the challenges Yeah, in conclusion, uh, my presentation suggests that AI-powered platforms like CodeMonkey offer a promising avenue for modernizing social-emotional education. The integration of AI shows for more personalized, scalable, and data-driven interventions, giving educators more powerful to, uh, tools to foster not only academic progress and success, but also social-emotional resilience, responsible responsible citizenship. However, this is not just the beginning. This is just the beginning. More research is needed to explore the long-term impact of AI on students' social emotional progress. As AI continues to advance, we must remain mindful and ethical considerations and strive for equitable success, access, uh, equitable access to these uh, technologies. I hope my presentation inspires more uh, exploration and collaboration between technologies, educators, and policymakers. Together, we can shape the future of education, one that integrates AI to support both academics and social emotional growth. Thank you so much. Actually, um, we also have secondary uh, school, so I also teach the secondary school uh, to seventh grade, but we start teaching CodeMonkey from kindergarten to seventh, 
and I encourage to make them do it, especially fourth grade, fifth grade, and sixth grade, because it is more based on reading. That is the uh, suggestion that I propose, because since it is more gaming, uh, reading, and game part is very short, and at the end of the reading, we can make it more interactive, and that will help us to, you know, give them a platform they will apply their learnings. So this part should be improved, but the other coding platforms that I teach or use, they don't have, they don't suggest any digital citizenship courses. So t students don't have, you know, any idea. As I mentioned, traditional social emotional learning teachers give them papers, and it is all paper based, and it takes too much time to grade and evaluate. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. We have uh, teachers have their own platforms. We keep track which courses they do, how many questions they answered, and there are some open-ended questions and multiple questions. We can uh, see that which answers they gave and uh, their open-ended questions. We can see the answers. But as I said. This is still, this still needs some uh, improvement because as a teacher, I, can, I need to grade, evaluate what their answer is. It is, there is not a digital program or AI powered tool that tell me the, that shows me the skills or, you know, they don't give me any measurement. It is up to me again to decide if that uh, student learned it or not or how much it, uh, they learned it. um we have we are not a big school we have uh three elementary uh three first graders two second graders and two third graders like that i mean it is not a big school yes yes and my idea was actually to apply for a research project but as you know it takes a lot of you know efforts to apply for you need to apply for ERP to get the, you know, permission to do this project and you need to collect the permission from the families. Actually, it was a very seed idea to see how, you know, AI powered platforms affect students in learning social emotional um, skills. But yeah, that's why I want to bring up this topic because uh, as you know, professors, you have more um, power to implement a project on this. So maybe it can be an inspiration. I would like to ask the last question, I guess. So how is SES is social and emotional? So how does it handle the emotions and what are the emotions? Yeah, uh, it is first self-awareness. In a stressful um, environment, you need to identify your um, emotion before you respond immediately. You need to, we teach students to, you know, Sit, uh, stay still first and to understand uh, what bothers that person. Is it stress? Is it, is it anxiety? What triggers before responding, you know, before attacking? I mean, as teachers, we see this a lot in a classroom. As, let's say they keep quarreling over a pencil, for instance. And this student, when a person snatch a pencil from the other student, the other one don't talk, they just hit. And then you need to teach the students, don't hit. Just, you know, control yourself, understand what is going on. Why are you angry? Why are you hitting? And then, you know, because we are, um, this age is so cruel. We are in a cruel age. We are acting um, before thinking. We act with our emotions, especially our students who keep playing games who are always on the internet, they do not think before they behave. So this is also, uh, I, I get an, an email from a, a professor. The professors uh, get a complaint letter from companies. They say that uh, students coming from colleges, they don't have eye contact. They don't uh, handle stress. So we start teaching them at elementary, but I think there is a gap between 
uh, high school and higher education. Because as far as my um, research, before I do this, I searched that there is hardly any social emotional courses at college level, right? And there, uh, and I read um, a, um, a professor was trying to make a lesson plan for this. I don't know if they managed to initiate it or not, but this should be something that teaches college students how to handle anxiety and social emotional learning should be integrated into higher education as well. So there shouldn't be any gap because, because it is a life learning uh, progress. It, is, it shouldn't be stay at elementary or secondary or high, high school. It should go on. Pencil up. Pencil up. I thank you.